Hi there, everyone. This is Sean Double Seven Nineteen Six, and Jesus Christ, I might have to go to rehab after watching this game because this game was one hundred percent on all kinds of goddamn drugs. I swear to goddamn God, it was crazy. But at the end of the day, the Dallas Cowboys managed to defeat the Washington Commanders, thirty-four to twenty-six. Which, for the Cowboys, that breaks their five-game losing streak, and they improved to four and seven. But as for Washington, we now suffer three back to, we now are on a three game three, three game loss skid right now, and we fall to seven and five. Now this is gonna make us make us trying to get the NFC, make us get to the uh, man is to get to the NFC East, winning the NFC East a little bit hard unless the Rams do something tonight against the Eagles. Let's get to the let's get to the um to, to the stats, okay? For the Cowboys, Cooper Russ. 24 could be of 24 or 32 care 32 pass attempts for 247 yards two touchdowns no interceptions while Jaden Daniels could be the 25 or 38 of his passes for 247 yards got two touchdowns and two picks in the rushing department Darrell Darrell had 19 carries for 86 yards Elliott had three carries for six yards Cooper Russ had four carries for one yard CD Lamb had one carry for one yard and Trey Lance had one carry for a negative three yards. They played Trey Lance? Daniels had seven carries for 74 yards and one TD. Eckler has nine carries for 22 yards. I hope he's okay, though. McNichols had three carries for 22 yards. D. Brown has one carry for 14 yards. And B. Robertson had five carries for 13 yards. Now, in the passing department, C.D. Lamb had 10 carries, I mean, 10 receptions for 67 yards. Snoomaker, epic meme name, had three receptions for 55 yards and one TD. Brooks had one reception for 41 yards. Spanford had two receptions for 24 yards. Tolbert has two receptions for 22 yards and one TD. Darrell will have three carries, three receptions for 12 yards. Hippu had one reception for 10 yards. Mingo had one reception for eight yards, and Turpin had one reception for eight yards. As for the commanders, Scary Terry McCollin had five receptions, one and two yards, one TD. Brown has six receptions for 71 yards. Zachers had six receptions for 38 yards and one TD. Brown has two receptions for 22 yards. Bates had one reception for 13 yards. B. Robinson had one reception for 11 yards. McCaffrey has one reception for eight yards. Zach Kudis has one reception for eight yards, and Echo has two receptions for one yard. Okay. Washington had had more total yards than the Cowboys. Washington had 411 total yards, so Dallas is 332 total yards. Passing yards, Washington 266 passing yards. Dallas 241 passing yards. Rushing yards. Washington 145 rushing yards. Dallas 91 rushing yards. In yards per play, Washington 6.1 yards per play. Dallas 5.4 per play. Washington had 20 first, first downs to Dallas 17. Washington was 4 and 12 on third down, while Dallas was 2 and 11 on third down. Both teams didn't go for it on fourth down. Really? Washington had had made 67 total plays while to Dallas's 61 plays. Washington allowed six sacks while Dallas only allowed one sack. Both teams punted the rock six times. Washington was penalized eight times, which cost them 78 yards, while Dallas was penalized four times to that cost about 20 yards. Both teams lost, lost the rock on fumbles. Washington threw two interceptions while Dallas threw none. And that was uh, somehow dominated the time of possession. Also, here's a fun fact that he, that I did that I didn't notice that happened in this game. <laughs> you ready for this one? This is the first game since the Super Bowl era where we had two missed PATs, two two kickoff return touchdowns, and a blocked punt. Like I said. This game was all on the drugs. It's like, what, what is going on in this game? 
It was so crazy. Yeah, well, you know, we just got... I mean, the defense made... made uh, the defense made our lives a living hell. I mean, that front... I mean, they was gunning at our, our quarter... They was gunning at Jaden Daniels real quick, too fast, that he couldn't... That he didn't have time to, you know, get his position set or try to throw the rock. You can't... So I'm not going to really put the blame on Jaden Daniels for not not trying to complete the passes that he wasn't. He was he was gonna he was getting bum he was getting bum the the defense was bum rushing the our offensive line. I mean shit. And like I said, it was so crazy. It's like near the end of the fourth fourth quarter, we scored a touchdown and got and managed to get the two point conversions to manage to cut it down to seven. 3D. And I was like, we had a chance. Then all of a sudden, when we kicked the ball, the Dallas player missed the rock, but fumbled the rock, didn't, didn't activate a spin move you see in goddamn men, and ran that bitch all the way back to, to, uh, and ran that bitch all the way back to the fucking end, to our end zone for, for a, for a kickoff return touchdown. And I was like, motherfucker. But then when we got the ball back, Jaden Daggers threw a beautiful bomb to T to Scary Terry to get us in a touchdown. And we could have been and we could have had that and we could have been us to be back up in top and have and you know tie this game. But then a bot snap, a bot snap fucked us up. This oh man. I'm I want to say I'm mad. But fucking hell, man, that, that game, it's like, we only lost by a touchdown, I get that part. But this hurts us more because not only are we now 2-2 two and two in division play right now, but now it's going to make it hard for us to try to get, try to catch up with Philly to the, um, to get the NFC East title. And knowing Philly fans, they are enjoying this, they love this, because now, with our loss against Dallas, they got a shot of, try, of, taking, of claiming the NFC East title. So, yeah. So, fuck. As, so, what, so, as for us, I guess the best thing we can do right now, next week, we got we just got to beat the Titans. If we, can manage to, if we can manage to beat the Titans before our bye week, we can head into our bye week with at least an 8-5 and five record. An, an 8-5 and five record, because that'll totally help us out, man. And speaking of the Titans, they beat they beat the Texas, so you know the Strouds are not too happy. If you know, you know. But man, like I said, that just fuck, man. If we if 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 that if we didn't have that bad snap and we would have kicked that field goal, then we would have had a fucking chance. We would have had a fucking. Ch then that game could have gone into overtime. A lot of what ifs, I know. A lot of ifs, what ifs, I know. But. Fucking hell, man. Like I said, that game was on all kinds of drugs. Jeez. You know what? I wouldn't be too surprised if this game was... was if, if this would be a greatest game. But, I don't know. We'll just see how that played out. But like I said, that game was fucking crazy, man. Oh, man. Anywho, that's all I got to say about this. Let me know what you think about this, all right? As always, be sure to leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to this channel. Click the notification bell so don't miss our update. Share with your friends, share with your neighbors, share with, share with others. And that's about it. Until next time, this is Sean 7 1986 signing off. Thank you for watching this video. It really means a lot. I'll see you in the next one. Catch you later. Peace. Oh, and by the way, Dallas... Don't act like you beat us, because you really didn't. Alright? Y'all got lucky. Next time we face y'all, next time we face you guys off, it'll be a different story. So, enjoy this win. While you fucking can.